A big part of our job is to keep you informed about this, and we've had state leaders and local experts on all week to make sure that you have the answers to your questions when it comes to coronavirus. Team 12's Rachel Cole has a roundup of the common concerns that we've heard from you and the best responses that we're getting from our state leaders. If I know something, you're going to know it. This is our number one focus, and we're going to act with urgency in the state of Arizona. Governor Doug Ducey assuring Arizonans that health and safety remain a priority. We used the executive order to make certain that co-pays are protected and that people aren't being price gouged on things that they need to get the proper health care that they uh, may be necessary around the coronavirus. We're also working with the federal government and private providers to get more tests into the state of Arizona. State health officials agree. At last check, there were about 800 test kits, and Dr. Kara Chris says even more sanitary options are likely going to be offered. That they are looking at potentially doing um, mobile drive throughs or more specimen collection. We're figuring out how that is going to be implemented on the ground in Arizona, but we were very excited with that news. With more than 151 tests pending, the panel of experts says if you're feeling sick, consider the criteria for the coronavirus before coming to the commercial labs to prevent overcrowding. We encourage you to come if you're older and you have medical problems and older, you know, 60s, 70s, 80s and have comorbidities such as diabetes, asthma, congestive heart failure. There is criteria now because mm -hmm. for multiple reasons, but we just can't check everyone. Just because you want to test, we can't do it. We're Thanks. restricted a little bit. Health experts stress looking at the big picture when it comes to your personal health before panicking. The coronavirus family includes the viruses that are causing the common cold. Uh, and so a lot of the younger and healthier people are going to get a mild illness. It's going to be a respiratory inf infection that's in the upper respiratory tree. As the coronavirus coverage continues, state health leaders and the governor recommend checking azhealth.gov to stay up to date on developments. Rachel Cole, 12 News.